Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to talk about Next.js. So what is Next.js? So Next.js is basically a React framework and it is used for creating React application wherein you don't have to do anything from scratch. Uh, you know, it already provides you uh, the setup and it offers you the server side rendering guys. So that is one of the unique features about Next.js that it offers server side rendering. If you are going to use create react app uh, to go ahead and set up a react application then in that case you won't get the server side rendering if you want to do it then you'll have to uh, you know use node to create your own server side rendering but next.js offers you that out of the box okay so uh, so how does actually next.js work let's see well first thing is that it provides you with a node.js server which renders your requested website and the first thing that happens is it requests data from API generates it in the HTML code on the server and sends it the HTML to the browser so what does that mean how does that actually work so I want to show you a demo so let's say if you go to my site so I've created this site uh, in react but this is a single page application so if you go and check the page source, you can see there is nothing but just the div with an ID of root. So when the page is loaded, then the JavaScript is inserted inside of the root wherein your JavaScript, your CSS, everything is inserted here and that's how you can see this page over here, right? So this is a single page application and this is not rendered server side. So how that's gonna, create a problem for you so especially when there's SEO that you are worried about then the crawlers won't really get uh, anything over here because all they get is just a bunch of you know div with an uh, ID of root over here you don't actually have the content uh, some of the web crawlers will wait for you to load up the content but that waiting will only be for a certain period of time so if your website is slow it won't take that uh, it won't actually be waiting so that is where your server side rendering becomes extremely important okay so how does that server side rendering work uh, basically next.js requests the data from api then it would create the html pages uh, on the server side on run at runtime and then it's going to send those html pages to the browser and browser will go ahead and render that so when the page actually loads then you know it will be good for seos because it will already have the HTML for you. So when we're going to create this application, I'm going to sh show that to you, uh, how it actually works, okay? Uh, one of the key differences I would say in Gatsby is that uh, in Gatsby, the page is created server side, but at build time, okay? However, in next years, it is uh, created at runtime on the server, okay? So this uses Webpack uh, to bundle and Babel to convert modern JavaScript, uh, convert actually JavaScript into modern JavaScript out of the box. Okay. And what are the features of next year? So some of the features we already discussed. One is server side uh, rendered React application. Uh, then it's SEO friendly, which I have just explained. Uh, it offers you code splitting, which means that instead of loading everything at one time it will split our application code into a series of lightweight bundles okay so that's how the code splitting works there's something called hmr you must have heard about which is hot module replacement now instead of reloading an entire application when the code code changes uh, hot module replacement will only recreate modules that have been altered okay so that's what hot module replacement means and you can import a header and that you can also include your uh, meta tags which means uh, you know when we when we are going to go ahead and start coding i will show you that you can import head uh, and then inside of head you can mention your meta tags so especially when you want to put your og tags you can put all of that in the header uh, works with css and js so it already has an option wherein you can write CSS and JS uh, in style tags uh, by passing an attribute called JSX. So we will learn that in some time. Uh, 
it handles the route for you so you don't really have to you know import any routers except that it already has the uh, router for you which you can import it can be used with known frameworks uh, like express happy koa etc so if you want to build a custom express js server you can actually do that and it offers you clean url so i will show you in some time as to how you can create a clean url so what do you mean by clean url for example uh, if you're going to send a user to uh, if you're going to display a single page with a certain id so generally you must have seen that the url is like slash post uh, then you pass query parameters like question mark id is equal to one so if you just want the pages to open by the post name then you can actually generate clean urls um, server side it already handles the 404 for you so it has got built-in error handling 404 pages of course these all of the things can be customized as well uh, it doesn't impose a directory structure except that the static and uh, pages so there are two directories with which it wants you to create first is pages wherein you will create uh, your components and the name of the component will actually become the route for that component so for example it's uh, your home page will be available on index if you create a file like index.js in pages the home page will be available at that if you create a page like uh, about.js then it will create a route for you automatically at slash about okay so we'll, we'll show that in a moment and for static is basically where you can keep your images etc so you don't actually have to import your images all you can do is just create a static directory put your images there and uh, it's going to go ahead and uh, uh, you know make your images available at slash static and whatever the name of the image or the folder is after that each file page uh, file in a page is a separate view assigned to a url so this is not a single page application like the one i just showed you okay uh, so each file in the page is a separate view so let's go let's get started 